All right, welcome to another web development video where I show you how to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to make modern websites and modern website elements. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, creating smooth button or link animations. So maybe you've been on a website and you roll over a button or you roll over a link and it's smoothly transitioned from one color to another or from one state to another. Um, and normally, whenever you do that, it just kind of is a quick pop of color. But um, maybe on another website, you see it kind of doing a smooth transition from one to the other. I'm going to show you how we do that uh, with CSS. And so let's get into Code Pen. I have just a quick little button here. Um, it says click me, and it's an actual button element. Uh, we have <coughs> uh, Flexbox centering here just to get it into the middle of the page so it always stays centered. And then for our button, we have a little bit of padding. Uh, we've taken the border off. It's a background of red, a color of white. Uh, obviously, it's uppercase and bold text. And now we need to add a hover state to it. So in CSS, when you do a hover, uh, I'm using um, SAS, by the way. You can see here it's SAS. And if you've never seen SAS before, all it does is it, it converts uh, what we have here. It compiles this into regular old CSS, uh, but it's faster to write and you can also indent and do some other uh, fun things. One of the things that we do in SAS is that when we want to do, because we really want to say button hover, right? This is the CSS, um, the CSS uh, class that we really want to write. So we want to put a hover pseudo uh, class on the button class. Um, we could just copy this and then do one underneath, but the SAS actually lets us write it in a little bit more concise way. So we use the ampersand, and the ampersand with the indentation means button. So we say uh, we have our button classes, and then button hover. And then we're going to just do a background of blue. So let's just do that and let's try out our hover here. Okay, so that works. So when you s you'll um, if you've never seen it before, you can see we have button and then we have button hover. Okay, so we have our pseudo class there. So that's how SAS works. Um, so this works, but it's it's happening so fast. Uh, is there a way that we can make that a little bit smoother? Typically, smooth means um, sexier, more professional, uh, a little bit kind of a wow factor. So this is a super easy way to just add a little bit of professionalism to your website. And this might be OK. Uh, it's certainly performant. There's no animation. It just goes from one state to another. But we can add animation in CSS by using what's called the transition property. Now we do the transition property on the thing that is being changed. Uh, so the element that's being changed. And here we have a background of red that's being changed to blue. So this thing is being changed, not the hover. Okay, this is the change agent. But we go to the thing that's being changed and we say transition. And then we have a few uh, things that we can put into here, a few values. So we need a property, a duration, a timing, function and then you can also add a delay although we are not going to add a delay for this particular transition that would just mean after I hover over it how long should I wait in order to make this transition or this animation happen okay so we don't need that we want it to happen immediately uh, the second someone rolls over and hovers okay so for the transition uh, property this value of property needs to be whatever property you want to animate. And so we want to animate from red to blue. And so we need this property to be background. So we're going to say background. And then how long do we want it to take to go from red to blue? Um, I'm just going to choose 500 milliseconds. You could choose anything and test this out. Uh, if it's 1500 milliseconds, that's 1.5 seconds. Uh, you could do, you could try it at 100 milliseconds, uh, though that is unadvisable. Anything I've heard, um, anything under 150 milliseconds happens so fast 
then it might as well just be rolling over um, because it's just it it doesn't give enough time to put enough keyframes uh, or enough uh, frames in between the animation to be able to show the transition so uh, I've heard most people say 150 milliseconds is a, the smallest amount of time to actually be able to see a transition from one state to another. Uh, 500, 400, those seem like good ones to me. I believe that 300 is the default. Um, so you can play around with it and see. Uh, some If you take too long, people will get angry <laughs> because it just takes too long. If you take too short, then it you lose the effect and you put something in there for no reason. Uh, the timing function, I'm going to use what's called ease. Ease is equal to ease in and ease out, uh, which just means that it starts, ease in means that it starts slow, and then through the middle, it's normal speed, and then it eases out at the end. So it's like starting running slow, and then you pick up speed, and you're at top speed in the middle, and then you slow down at the end uh, before you stop. So uh, ease is a... Uh, just kind of a shorthand for that. There are a few different timing functions and you can look that up if you uh, do a search for CSS transition uh, values and or timing functions and then um, you can play with those different things that are available. Okay so we have our transition now so when we hover then it's going to transition the background color to blue over 500 milliseconds with an ease in and ease out function. So you can see there that the difference between what we had before, you can see it immediately goes to what we have after, which is a much smoother transition. Okay, so that's uh, really noticeable and easy with buttons. You can also do this with a link. So I have some styles set up for a link. So I'm just gonna add uh, a div and then I'm just gonna put my anchor tag in there. I don't really want to do all the styles for the actual anchor tag so I'm just I want it to be a block. <laughs> so I'm putting it inside of a link div and then um, we'll just put a little link there. So we have our link and I have some link styles down here and if I just uncomment those it gives me a little bit of space there that's <coughs> what I was looking for. Let's pull these back up a little bit. And links are going to behave a lot of the same way uh, that a button does, so we need a hover state. We also want the hover to be blue. Um, so let's make our anchor link style a little bit. We'll just give it the color red just to be consistent. Uh, so now we have a color red, but there's no hover state. Okay, so let's create the hover state. So this is like saying A, hover, okay. Uh, there's not enough space here. Um, okay, I got a little error down there. And so now you see uh, that what we have is our link, and this is the whole block of tech around the, the link. Uh, we have our link A, which is a color red, and then right now we have a background of blue uh, for our link a hover and instead we need that to be color of blue and then when we roll over our a link it should turn to blue okay but again that's that's not as smooth a transition as you're seeing here so we can make this smooth too just by taking our transition and since we just want to use the same one uh, we'll add it in here and the property we want to transition is not background we want to transition the color property because that's the thing that's changing down here and so when we have that you can see that there's a much smoother transition uh, you can see how hard it is when we don't have it so it just quickly moves from one color to another and then when we do have the transition you can see that it's a much smoother experience so Maybe with a link you would want it to be a little bit quicker uh, just because the, per the, the perception it, it needs to happen more quickly. If it happens over too short a time these letters and things are just too small uh, to be able to see that very well. It's kind of thin. Up here you can do 
o over a longer length of time because the color that's the part that's changing is so thick right all the color in the background uh, but down here it's a little less perceptible over time so if you want to make your a links a little bit smaller or a little bit shorter in the time that they transition uh, that's probably more helpful but uh, this is something you can play with. Uh, these variables here are variables that you can play with um, and values that you can play with up and down. Uh, that is how you make a little bit more professional presentation, uh, a little bit sexier, a little bit smoother. Uh, and when people see that, they'll be like, okay, this guy's got some skills, this girl has some real skills uh, to be able to do some different things to make this a beautiful site as opposed to merely just a functional website. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And um, if you know anybody that could use this, share the video with them. I'll have the code pen link uh, in the description of the video. And um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Brian Happercamp. And I'd love to hear from you or um, to chat with you about what's going on if you have any questions or comments about this particular video or any of the other videos I have uh, I'm more than happy to to get back to you I try to do it very quickly so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time